Hello everyone, in this video we're going to configure the Wi-Fi of the Snickerdoodle so that we can get connected to the Snickerdoodle wirelessly. This particular set of instructions uh, requires that you, you would repeat them every time you boot the, the Snickerdoodle. Uh, in a future video maybe we'll cover uh, how to go about this so that you uh, that it will uh, save those conf that configuration through a boot cycle and so you don't have to repeat it but for this video this is just a very basics uh, just to get it set up uh, and get going so let's go ahead and get started with this okay here we are in minicom and we are at the snickerdoodle command prompt uh, and I don't know why it does that, but uh, it seems like after you uh, connect for a little while, then it, it uh, decides it's going to start the web server Apache 2. Um, when it does that, I just hit enter and uh, I get the command prompt back. That's something I'm going to have to ask about. Um, so we're back at the command prompt on the Snickerdoodle. Uh, we're accessing uh, from a, a host machine over Minicom. If you don't know how to get to this point, uh, go to my getting started video and I'll, I'll get you to this point. Okay, in this, uh, to set up the Wi-Fi, I'm going to follow a set of instructions that I got from uh, this website. Um, so this is uh, Adam Taylor's uh, Micro Z Chronicles Part 36, and he provides some instructions here. Uh, I've tried this, it worked. Uh, so uh, at this recording, it's the, the best set of instructions that I've found. Uh, I'm going to kind of show, show you step by step uh, for, the, for the beginner. Uh, if you're an advanced user, you might just follow those instructions and, and you'll be good to go. Um, okay, so the first thing we need to do uh, is we need to use a program called VI to edit a file. And so we use uh, VI and then we, we type in the path. It's going to be uh, etc. Uh, that's the first directory. And then it's going to be udev and then uh, rules.d. And then it's uh, seven zero dash persistent. And he, he, again, make sure you spell everything exactly correct or it will not work. Uh, dot rules. And uh, that's it. And then hit enter. Okay, uh, so this is empty. Uh, that's, that's actually what, well, nope, nope. I made a mistake here somewhere. Um, See it's where it says new directory. Uh, that means I actually uh, <laughs> I did not go into where I wanted to go. I created something new. Uh, yeah, so I can see where the mistake is. So again, you have to type in everything correctly when you're in Linux here. So I see I missed the S right there on rules, um, and that's that's why it happened. So I don't want to save this. To exit VI without saving, you want to type colon, Q, and then an exclamation point, and then hit enter. Okay, so I'm back, back at the, the command prompt. Uh, let's, let's try this again. And I just hit my up arrow key to get that back. I'm going to make the correction, and I'll put that S right there. So I'm glad I made that mistake, that mistake because uh, this is... This is uh, uh, good. So okay. So what we want to do here is we want to clear out the contents of this file, and uh, once we once we so to do that we just go navigate down to uh, the the contents with the arrow keys, and then you just hit the X button and you just hold it down just to clear everything out. And I just go through and do that all all through here. And when we're all done, we'll have an empty file. I can't explain why we need to do it, but the instructions say to do it, and it worked for me. So uh, uh, maybe there's some uh, expert users out there that can provide more context. Okay, so this is all cleared out. Now to exit and save the file, uh, we want to use the command. Uh, we want to use colon, x, and then enter. Okay, and so now that is done. Uh, the next step is to reboot. So we, we type in reboot, and the Snickerdoodle will reboot.
Okay, now that we're rebooted, uh, the next thing we want to do is we want to bring up the, the wireless LAN. Uh, the, uh, so we're going to use IF config space WA, I'm sorry, WLAN zero space and then up. And it doesn't seem like it does anything, but if it didn't, if it didn't do anything, it would just get an error there. Uh, so next, we want to do wi. Oh, I'm sorry, iw. W a l l a n zero. And scan. So it's going to basically it's going to scan. Uh, basically, it's going to be looking for. Uh, the the wireless routers that are out there that it, it can it can uh, reach so then we're going to look for the SSID for those and this is just basically so we can uh, identify the uh, the ID of the router that we want to connect with so we do that and it'll take just a minute and you can see that uh, we've got uh, three here. It looks like I've got my, uh, my printer is there. Uh, my, uh, my neighbor uh, is there, uh, the concrete place. And uh, then I have the TP-Link uh, wireless router. Uh, so this is a point where you might want to do a screen capture to, to capture that so that, uh, uh, so that you have it for the next step. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And... All right, and now I have that. Actually, I got, I got an even better idea. You can just go up here, highlight that, right click, and copy. Uh, the control C doesn't, doesn't work, so uh, you have to actually right click. Oh, look, it's starting the web Apache uh, 2 again. I'll have to ask why that happens like that. Uh, but I just hit enter there. Next thing we need to do, we need to use VI again to edit another file, a file and it's going to be in an etc directory, and it's going to be called WPA underscore supplicant dot conf. Okay. Okay, here is where we are going to enter in the password and the, uh, the network SSID. Uh, so I'm not actually going to show you uh, my password here, um, but uh, you would put that in at this point right here. Uh, and, and so it goes in between the quotation marks and you would do that. Uh, I suppose you can X this out just use the X. Now to uh, insert something here, I have to hit the I key, and then that, then I can type in a, a password. That's not my password, but uh, that, you get the idea. And after you're done typing, you have to hit escape. Uh, now for some reason, you get to the end of the line, and you need to um, add something at the end, uh, you have to hit a and then you can add something back here but we're not going to do that so i'm going to leave that there and then remember we uh we uh copied the ssid for the the router so i'm just going to take this out like that and then i'm going to hit i and uh then i'm going to see if this works uh paste okay I think that worked. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and, and now now remember to save this. Uh, we actually let me hit escape, okay, and then to save it, you hit the colon and an X and enter. All right. Okay, uh, now I went back in in and uh, fixed that password, but I'm not going to show you my password. Um, now I'm going to. Uh, we need to run the uh, WPA supplicant, and uh, we can. Uh, it, this is kind of a long uh, string we need to enter in here, uh, so I'll try to go real slow, and uh, it'll actually over write over itself when we're when we're in this uh, interface here, and it can be a little bit confusing. 
uh, but I'll show you what it looks like so you won't be surprised. So it's WPA underscore supplicant dash as space then dash little d space big D. And again, I am not a Linux expert, so I cannot explain to you exactly what all this means. I know that that part right there is the the the, the uh, the standard or the protocol for the uh, the router or for the Wi-Fi, um, but uh, I am not familiar with the supplicant program to be able to tell you exactly what all this is doing. This is the directory I know. Remember, this is the file that we just edited. And so it's going to use that uh, to basically get the uh, SSID and the password for our router. You see how it returned there? I entered that, that dash. And you have to be real careful now that you don't uh, mess this up. So you see how the, the cursor is back at the beginning? And so I, I had after the, the supplicant dot con, conf, I had a space and a dash and a little i. Uh, then an, another space, then W, that's the, num, the name of the route, W-L-A-N-0, space, and then a dash, and then big B. And that's it. And you see how it's overwriting itself, but uh, that's just the, the quirky nature of this interface. And we'll get a better one going here after we get the Wi-Fi set up. So next we hit enter, uh, and uh, we'll see if that worked. Uh, that was uh, that was going through and setting up the uh, the connection with the router. Okay, I had to pause the video there just to uh, fix something real quick. But uh, the next the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to go dh client. Whoops, if I can spell. It's hard to do this sometimes looking around my microphone. And uh, wlan zero so that's your LAN. What this is going to do is it's going to uh, get our IP address assigned so then we can go uh, actually connect to the device using the IP address. So that didn't seem like it did, did anything but if we do a uh, IF config uh, WLAN zero. Now if we just if we left off the WLAN zero uh, it would uh, still work it just show us all of our, our uh, network connections there. Um, but we just want to look at WLAN 0, and you can see the INET address is 192.168.0.102. Now, uh, this will might be different for you. Um, I have another snickerdoodle here, and uh, it came up as uh, everything was the same except for the last three there. It was a 104 instead of 102. So you'll need to do this uh, when you uh, uh, when you connect just to make sure that, that you, you want to write this down, basically. It's uh, 102, uh, and actually we can, since we're going, next thing we're going to do, we can just copy this, so copy. And so there, it, the snickerdoodle is now connected, uh, it has an IP address assigned, and we can go over here, and now we can connect to it using uh, SSH. Uh, that's a little bit uh, easier to use, in my opinion, than Minicom or Screen. Uh, and, so, uh, and so if we go over here and we go SSH, uh, and we're going to log in as Snickerdoodle. Uh, Snickerdoodle is uh, a default user account on the Snickerdoodle. And we use the at sign and then the IP address. And I remember we just uh, copied that, so I can just uh, go over here and paste. And uh, it's going to log in the Snickerdoodle. And it'll ask me for the password. Now, the default password for the Snickerdoodle is Snickerdoodle. And it won't show you, but I typed it in, trust me. And uh, now the first time you do this, um, it'll ask you, it'll give you a warning about uh, security and all. it'll just give you a warning and it'll ask you to type in yes or no. You actually have to type in yes and then hit enter and then it'll allow you to go through. Uh, it didn't do that because uh, once, once you do that the first time for that uh, device and that IP address, it, it won't ask you again. Uh, so if you get that warning, it won't look exactly like you did here. Uh, so you'll have just have to type yes to get to this point. But at this point, um, I can use my LS there. Uh, but look at this. So I go CD backspace or four space like that, and then let, let's that. Now I can come over here. Uh, 
So, uh, and this is just a different way to access. Uh, so. Okay. Um, now, if I go to home and list there, that's, that's the Snickerdoodle folder. So there's a Snickerdoodle user. Uh, that's the folder that you, you uh, uh, for the Snickerdoodle user. Uh, so if I do the same thing here, CD, home, you can see I'll get the same thing. All right. Uh, now let's just go to CD Snickerdoodle. And there's nothing there. Same thing here. Okay. Uh, now, and uh, oh, let me show you. Just, okay, so, so there's nothing there. Uh, let me go uh, make directory. MKDIR makes directory. Let's call it, uh, uh, let's just say uh, work. Okay. You see, okay, work is there now. And if I if I do do an ls right here, you can see it's there as well. Uh, so that's just uh, uh, so now uh, just to summarize everything, we've set up the wireless uh, the Wi-Fi on the Snickerdoodle. Uh, we've uh, connected to the router. We've gotten our IP address, and now we've accessed the Snickerdoodle remotely. And I can go to any computer that's connected to that network, and I can log into the Snickerdoodle using SSH. Uh, and uh, next, I'm going to show you how to do that from, say, Windows or the Mac. Actually, uh, accessing it from Mac is exactly how I showed you here. Uh, just open up a terminal on the Mac and type in the same thing here. Um, of course, with your IP address, uh, it'll work exactly the same on the Mac. But I'll show you how to do it on Windows with TerraTerm. Okay, uh, here we are in Windows 10, and we're going to do the connect to Snickerdoodle using TerraTerm. Uh, you can use, also use PuTTY. Uh, but uh, I like to use uh, TerraTerm myself. Uh, so we're going to uh, go to File, New Connection, and it's going to be at, uh, a TCP IP. Uh, click on SSH, then put in the IP address of the Snickerdoodle. Now, uh, we, uh, this one is a 102. Make sure the IP address matches, and then just uh, click OK. And uh, since I've never connected to the Snickerdoodle before, uh, it's asking me to you know, just give me a security warning. And uh, yes, I want to just, uh, just continue there. Um, so again, this is going to be Snickerdoodle. And then the passphrase is also Snickerdoodle by default, unless you change it. Okay. There we go. We are logged into Snickerdoodle. There's that folder that we created just a little bit ago. You see, we have everything there, and there we are. We are logged into Snickerdoodle uh, from a remote Windows uh, machine. Okay, so I hope you like this video. Please subscribe, uh, check back often, and support the channel if you can. Thanks a lot. Bye.